Hey guys, it's Lucy from Craft for Bush and welcome back. Today I have the cutest Mother's Day gift, just this sweet little bookmark. We're going to be using watercolor to create individual little hydrangea flowers. Um, it's, it's so easy to make and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. For this particular painting, I'm going to be using um, my round number four. Um, and I would suggest you refer to my previous post on how to draw a hydrangea just to see the colors that I've used. It is basically a mixture of all blues and purples and a little bit of green. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this cute little individual hydrangea flowers. And all you have to do is make a little cross at the beginning. And then you are just going to paint four individual little pet petals from the cross. So here's a little cross and then a little petal, another petal, a third and a fourth petal. And then what I do is I go back and take a little bit of a darker paint just to um, highlight the middle. Um, and I am just going to continue to paint these throughout just using all the various blues and purples like I mentioned before. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this because it's the same process so all I'm doing is drawing little crosses and then the four petals all around and just making the center a little bit darker and just make sure that you're scattering them here and there and um, just making sure that they are perhaps a little bit bigger a little bit smaller and just making sure that there's a lot of texture throughout I really love the way all the purples and blues mix together so you want to make sure that when you're doing this you are using the wet on wet technique just so the colors kind of bleed into each other and um, you can probably see I don't clean my brush very often because I want to see all those beautiful colors mix together. I think these colors kind of remind me of the high changes towards the end of the summer when they're starting to turn into all those pretty colors. We have several uh, limelight hydrangeas in our backyard and then towards the end of the summer and early fall they start to turn into all these beautiful colors just like you see here. Towards the bottom, I make the hydrangeas kind of bunch up just like they're kind of falling from the top and accumulating at the bottom. And I'm just going to 
make sure there's some spaces that are clear so some blank spaces and just make it very organic and pretty Once you're happy with the your design, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut all around the little flowers. So I'm going to leave some of the area straight and then just cut around some of them. I think this just makes it look so, so pretty. And just a different kind of bookmark, something that really stands out. Once you're happy with your design and the way you've cut out all those little flowers, we're just going to make a little tassel. And once you've got your little tassel ready, we're going to just take a little hole punch and just thread it through the hole. And that's it. I think it's so pretty and um, I, I love how it's very unusual. It's not your typical um, bookmark and I really hope you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the hydrangea video so you can get all the colors and the supplies. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please consider it giving a thumbs up. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Bye.